just seen our speaker inviting you to rise as one of our promotional videos. Shaq Edwards is the president of Shaq's World Association, the owner of Shaq's World Community Center right here in Barrie. Shaq's World was created to build respectful and successful athletes and community members while bringing awareness to their mental and physical well-being through basketball and community engagement. Her mentorship program bridges the gap between mental and physical health by creating a safe space for youth. Bringing together communities through a game that transcends age, race, and sex. Shaq's World Community Center is the home of Barry's first for youth by youth community center. Shaq, over to you. Good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be here. I am Shaq of Shaq's World, and I have the amazing opportunity to work with local youth to promote and bring awareness to the importance of their physical and mental health. A little bit about myself, I have been the president of Shaq's World Association for five years now, traveling throughout Ontario, teaching the philosophy of the Shaq method, which is stay humble and kind. We travel teaching youth how to bridge the gap between basketball and life, both on the court and off the court. And today I'll be talking to you about my experience here in our community, as well as the struggles that some of these youth are facing during COVID-19 and what you can do to be successful through this pandemic. Some of the problems that we face. Isolation has caused a lot of distance between youth, their friends, their families, and their community. Right now with COVID and not being able to go out and participate in the things that youth are used to participating in, it's leading to a lot of different mental health problems, addiction, with COVID, isolation, addiction, and mental health are causing issues and are on the rise in our community. But one thing that we understand is that we can't help what we don't know. So as students, it's extremely important to talk about and communicate the problems that you're facing with local liaisons and local community members, like-minded people who understand what that could be like. Addictions include things like gaming. They include things like overeating and binge watching Netflix. If you take the time to focus on things other than and what's going on on social media, it will help your mental health. And one thing that we've learned is that a room is at its darkest when you let the door close. Right now during COVID, being isolated and maybe not having the connections and the outlets that you used to have are detrimental to a lot of youth health. As I've mentioned, COVID-19 has put a hindrance on the development, both socially and intellectually, with most of our right youth. Right now, there's a lot of youth participating in things like classes, work, everything via technology. And technology is very, very hard to work with sometimes if you want to have those things like social interactions, build relationships, go out to parties with your friends. So what are we missing out on? We're missing out on experiences and understanding that we grow outside of our homes, we grow in social atmospheres. One of the things that I like to ask our athletes is, how are you living? Even during COVID, how are you living? Are we making sure that we're keeping up to date with our minds? Are we doing a lot of introspection? What are we doing to better ourselves as opposed to hinder ourselves? A lot of youth are losing their jobs. They're doing homework at home and losing out on extracurricular activities. But there are ways that you can do these things outside of what our old world used to look like. So here are some things that you can do to make sure that you are still keeping up with your mental health, keeping up with your physical health and staying connected within your community. I mentioned earlier that mental health is on the rise right now within our youth and it's because a lot of youth are confused. They don't know where their liaisons are. They don't know who to reach out to, especially right now during a time that has been so questionable and unprecedented for us all. When you are speaking and how you express yourself at this time is extremely important. So reach out. In this presentation, I wanted to put together some things that would help youth and students better understand what they can do in order to be involved, in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle and stay ready during COVID-19. Although there's not much team sports and activities going on, there still are ways that you can train and get together safely with your friends and participate in activity. You can visit local business owners because it is a stressful time for them too. And supporting local is extremely important. Be involved in your community. There are a lot of online ways to support your community, but also get support from your community, whether it be through therapy groups or getting together with your friends to play games over Zoom. There are lots of platforms that have been created to stay connected during this time. 
or become a volunteer. Becoming a volunteer or a mentor for local youth is extremely important. These things keep everyone connected. They create a more interconnected community and help us develop even during unprecedented times. Taking the time to journal, since we are all isolated and we are all sitting at home, taking the time to journal is extremely important as well. Here are some prompts that you can use in order to journal by journaling how you feel, journaling what makes you happy and what you want out of life, even when it's questionable, will keep you motivated. It will keep you ready to take on the day and life. A lot of people see physical activity as having to go to the gym, go for a run, but there are certain things that you can do while studying to make sure that you are keeping your brain active. Physical activity helps promote productivity and productivity is important, especially when it's hard to motivate yourself. Without ambition, it becomes very hard to smash goals and create. So going for a walk, maybe every hour, do some jumping jacks, some sit-ups, push-ups. My favorite is dance, get up and move a little bit. That will help you focus when you're done and it will get out any extra energy that is just lingering. These are some local liaisons that you can reach out to in case you are struggling with any of the things that we've mentioned mental health addiction and homelessness as i've mentioned earlier in the presentation i am shack of shack's world we have spent the past three years bringing awareness to the mental health of our youth because we understand the importance and we understand that youth mental health is something that is often not talked about and students are they fall right into that category from elementary school to college. We have created physical activity, physical engagement for the city of Barrie and Simcoe County for the past three years, providing a safe space for youth to participate in sports, to meet local business owners, and to meet organizations that are here to help them. Opening Shacks World Community Center, it was in hopes of creating a safe space for students to come study, meet their local business owners, and create that interconnected community that we all wish to see. Through Shacks World, we have been able to create representation in our community. We are predominantly run by Black individuals, and this helps bring culture, this helps bring a different sense to what the community is used to seeing. At the moment, we are working with CMHA and New Path to create different programming so that youth can be engaged fully even during COVID-19. We've got safe spaces for young entrepreneurs to create alongside professionals as well as businesses that want to see young people do well. The importance of radical action in your community and in your life means that you go for what you want, you go for the goals and you don't let anything stop you. What we have provided and the space that we have created, it's giving youth and students the opportunity to really go out there and create change in their communities, to raise their voices, to be loud, to be heard, and to do that while staying humble and staying kind. We love to see when young people are breaking barriers by speaking up about important injustices, as well as speaking out about things that they believe in. Last summer, in June 2020, we were able to put together a small protest to talk about the importance of Black lives. But not only the importance of Black lives, the importance of humility and kindness, and what it means to be a human and what it means to be kind. Since then, have had the opportunity to work with hundreds of youth across Simcoe County, teaching them what it's like to follow their dreams, create what they'd like to create, create and speak about how they feel. Emotional or non-emotional, they are important. I want to leave you with some tips and some methods that you can use and I hope that you guys take these methods and use them as you can. We do goal setting and one of the goal setting methods that we use is the SMART method. S stands for specific, M starts, stands for measurable, A stands for attainable, R stands for relevant, and T stands for time-based. So by doing those things, you're able to set goals, smash them, and create a motivated and inspiring life for yourself. The 5 by 5 rule is extremely important as a student to stay focused. With 5 by 5 it means if it's not going to matter in five years, then try not to spend more than five minutes on it. Write down the things that are bugging you about the situation and move forward. Try to break those barriers because we believe we've got 365 days a year. We've got 24 hours 
hours in a day. Eight we use to sleep, eight we use for school or work, and the other eight we can use to create. Let's try to spend that time creating something. Thank you guys for listening. I hope that this was a informative presentation for you, and stay humble and kind. Thank you so much, Shaq. Your presentation was wonderful. You are a true change maker and inspiration to us all. Your discussion on isolation in the COVID-19 pandemic and how we are really living hit me pretty hard there. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including being involved in your community and supporting your friends, family, and local businesses safely. So thank you for being here with us today. Let's smash some goals. I see in the chat, love the five of five rule. Thank you, Shaq. You're such an inspiration. You are amazing, Shaq. And thank you. So wonderful hearing.